This quick guide video explains the tympanogram step, which can be accessed when a wideband tympanometry measurement has been taken. Wideband tympanometry displays all the data obtained from the measurement on the 3D graph. However, in order to interpret the results from this measurement, it is recommended to look at the tympanograms and absorbance graphs separately. The purpose of the tympanogram step is to display the most relevant tympanograms to the clinician so that an interpretation of the middle ear status can be made. In its default view, the tympanogram step displays three tympanograms. Those which are displayed are dependent on the age of the patient. However, as the user, you can easily switch between multiple tympanograms by right-clicking on any tympanogram displayed and selecting the desired tympanogram you wish to see. Let's look at the example from an adult patient. Notice the tympanogram on the left-hand side of the screen. This is the traditional 226 Hz tympanogram measured in compliance. You can change the probe frequency of its tympanogram by right-clicking on the tympanogram. Notice that only probe frequencies which have had published studies associated with them are displayed here. For those interested in the multi-components of the tympanogram, these can be selected by selecting the YBG and phase options. The tympanogram in the middle of the screen is the tympanogram at resonance frequency. The resonance frequency tympanogram provides the clinician with information of the resonance frequency of the middle ear. The resonance frequency corresponds to the lowest frequency at which mass and stiffness contribute equally to the middle ear admittance, making the phase zero. It has been shown in literature that identifying the resonance frequency can assist in diagnosing conditions affecting the ossicular chain, for example otosclerosis or a disarticulation of the ossicular chain. Lastly, the tympanogram on the right shows the tympanogram unique to the Titan, the wideband average tympanogram. A separate quick guide video covers this in more detail. This concludes this quick guide video brought to you by Intracoustics Academy. Other information on wideband tympanometry can be found at academy.intracoustics.com.